So for my first interview, I decided to interview uh, my professor, Brant Schuler. Uh, I chose to interview him because he's definitely on the list of like people's jobs that I'd like to have or like slash people that I'd like want to be like. He has a really interesting job and I think it'd be really cool to be a professor. So while it's not really like a design job, uh, this class has really helped me realize like a lot of things about myself and who I want to be. Um, so I'm kind of just taking it like what I actually want to do. Um, so be a professor and teach like him. I hope you enjoyed them. What did what did you start originally go to school for? Was it for making? No. What was it? No, no. When I went to school, I was going to make videos. I was completely on a track where I was planning to make movies when I grew up. Oh, really? Yes. It's kind so, of like what I wanted to do. So I was completely enthralled with that as an idea. Uh, in my sophomore year, we were able to take our first electives, and I took mine all on video. Uh, but what you have to remember is that. I didn't set up a small camera on a tripod to create a video. Yep. Uh, we were using uh, one-inch tapes. Uh -huh. uh, the unit that we used was uh, probably about 20 pounds just to track around uh, the, like the recorder. Camera? The camera itself was separate from the recorder. Wow. Uh, you needed lighting, you needed a team, and so I quickly dismissed this idea of making movies when I realized that it took a lot of people to make movies. Uh -huh. So I transitioned into painting. Uh, one of my roommates came home and he showed me a lithograph and I was pretty intrigued. Uh, and so that next semester I took lithography and from that point on I was uh, oh. hooked. Oh, that's so. awesome. So then did, what did you graduate with then? So uh, my degree was a BFA in printmaking and painting. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Um, what did you do with, like the first thing after you graduated? Like, did you go to grad school? I went right to grad school. Yeah. Uh, I kind of had a sense that if I stopped, I might stop. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I had been accepted to a number of different graduate programs. Uh, decided to take the one that was giving me the, the best deal. Yeah. And that was Penn State, so I went to Penn State. Uh, spent two and a half years there to get my master's. Uh, then after graduating from Penn State, I was fortunate enough to get an adjunct teaching position uh, at Keystone Junior College. Mm -hmm. Continued to make work, continued to get it out there. Uh, I also took a job as a preparator uh, at a small museum. So I, I put up shows, I sat shows, I transported uh, items, I drove was truck, I did no? frames. Uh, it was everything. Uh, one of my jobs was to drive a whole bunch of vintage motorcycles back to their owners. That's awesome! Within about three hours, well, actually, a little bit further afield than that. Oh my gosh, that's From the so museum. Great. So great. But yes, I did work with prints. I did uh, Matt and Frame, a whole exhibition uh, based on the archive that they had. You so, had to frame them. So Matt. I Matt and uh, framed that's so probably great. close to 100 prints for that exhibition. Oh. What about the Japan thing? How did that come around? And like what, like, cause like I'm really interested in traveling and like doing things like that. Is it just like things you applied for? Or I remember you saying, did they invite you? So, uh, Japan was a residency that was open to international artists. The hope was that uh, Mokohonga was a traditional form of printmaking that they felt might be getting lost and that by opening up uh, the education and teaching of the process mm -hmm. to non-Japanese uh, might be a way to help to further establish it. And you became a professor, like how, like you came on right after, like you became an adjunct right after you graduated with your master's? Yeah, I had a decision to make. It was either I was going to move to Philadelphia and do something called Prits in Progress, which was an after school program for our high school students, uh -huh. uh, or I was going to teach uh, be a professor. Uh, adjunct uh, at this small community college at that point. Yeah. Uh, and so I kind of weighed my options, and while the idea of moving to Philadelphia was really alluring, uh, well, something that was, you know, very much in my mindset, yeah. uh, I decided to stay and teach, and then uh, was fortunate to get a full-time teaching position that next year, mostly because I was willing to teach in prison. Oh, yes. what? So I taught in prison for four years. That's so cool. And that was always part of my load, so I would teach one class a semester uh, at a medium security prison. Uh, do you have any advice then for like what I, what I should do after I graduate? Yeah, pay attention, get yourself in the right place at the right time. Uh, network, mm -hmm. get to know as many people as you can doing what it is that you want to do. 